super easy. No, not at all. Wi-Fi DDD is a whole different beast. It's one thing offline, but Wi-Fi DDD just... A pretty rough character to play against. We'll see, we'll see. I'm already kind of worried if Zinni gets put at the edge. Uh, DDD just has a lot of really, really good ways to edge guard Cloud. And uh, I'm sure Adamus knows a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, especially with Cloud's recover being so susceptible to being edge guarded that way. So yeah, we'll see how Zenya is able to handle it. He was able to handle Burst really well, but it's one thing to play against Yoshi and Judy. There is the back though for positioning and the immediately sliding forward tilt. Yeah, Zenyu yeah so far though. Yeah, so far so good for Zenya. Mm -hmm. Playing very well. Yeah, he's got to watch his landing. I like it how he knows. I got to go more towards the ledge, find my way back center stage, forward smash down, safe on shield. It's decent punish there from Animus. Just gets the back though for positioning and tries to get the grab after the Gordo. Oh, nice down tilt. Has him exactly where he wants him. Oh, he's dead. You are right. You had him right where he wanted him. Man, that was really good timing with the jet hammer. I think I think Zenyu might have actually been able to delay his upbeat a little bit just so he could snap, but that was still a very hard position to be in regardless. Okay. Game with the Gordo at the ledge. Oh, oh the down tilt. He back at it again. Going yeah. for it? Mm. Oh, that hit so consistently. So the delay on, on the climb hazard is very, very timing and specific based. Because if you do it wrong, your head will still stick out from climb hazard and you'll get punished just the way the Atomist is having a field day right now in Xenia. Yeah, we love to see it. Probably the best use of Jet Hammer we're going to see in the, this type of matchup. Yeah. Oh, working on three stock here. Even going for the dash attack, too, to catch another opportunity on Cloud's recovery. It just seems like, even outside the jet hammer, yeah, DG just has a lot of ways to edge guard this character. And there's the forward air with no jumps. Just really, really dominant game from Adamus. Yeah, with the, JV. with the JV indeed. Adamus, just such a strong play right now on Zenyu. Yeah, JV, this isn't a... This is more of an even matchup than you would think is the thing. If... You're doing really well to stop a DDD before he can get his edge guards on you, and you're more on the aggressive side, like how we saw Zenyu in the beginning. It's not going to be that hard, but once DDD gets a little bit of stage control in the edge guarding phase, that's where it can be rough for Cloud. And you have to, like I said, if you can time your climb hazard perfectly every single time, you don't have to worry about Jet Hammer or Gordo hitting you from climb hazard. But in Zenyu's case, it's really hard to do it. And then coupled with Wi-Fi, it's just a lot of things going on, and it's it's rough. The thing to that Adamus is doing is he's not he's always putting the Gordo there to where you can't just time your upbeat perfectly because exactly. you have to try to dodge the Gordo first, and then you can try worry about recovering. Exactly. But Mario's here, which is the character I wanted to see him go from the start, and I didn't expect to see him play Mario at all today. So, uh, kind of interesting. For sure. I know he doesn't like to play Mario online. I can't even remember the last time I seen him play Mario online. <laughs> but this is definitely a really good Mario matchup for sure. Yeah. He, he has the easy combos. He has the amazing fireball to deal with the Gordo. And, and the uh, yeah, he, he has, with it too. Yeah, yeah. He just has a lot of tools to really play around DDD. So I want to see what Adams is going to do right here. Oh, he oh, hit the jump though. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And he broke the jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really t well timed down tilt. Admus is really watching how Zenyu was recovering there to the ledge. No platform extension here, just gets back on the platform. Almost tries to go for another follow-up. Adamus stops him right in his tracks. Yeah, yeah Zenyu really wants to uh, take advantage of this platform layout when he can. Like, Didi's already going to get comboed for a very long time regardless, but nature of the platform is going to make that last even longer. Oh, looking Ooh. for a grab with the... With dash dancing here, oh, then you have to go for the action <laughs> recovery to avoid every aerial. Oh, oh. no. Adamus didn't want to grab the ledge again. Uh, Zinyu was definitely ready to get the, the kill on that. So kind of bad, but another jump gets called again. <laughs> Dude, Adamus is just so, he's so good at finding that down tilt. The timing for down tilt too, and it has some decent amount of active frames. That's what's so good with catching jumps and two framing as well. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, wants to go for a full cross up, but instead he gives Adam miss the stage control, Ooh. the dash. Still no jump. Zenyu. Oh no, he but saved no it. Wait. Jump. What? what happened? No, he had a jump, but then he fast followed 
air dodge. Or yeah. I thought he got his jump taken, but he saved it. But then he SD'd. He SD'd. He, ba he basically buffered an air dodge. And then he fast folded immediately, and he was in a really rough spot. Mm -hmm. Then you. The yeah, not, the, not just a fear. It's just a. I wouldn't even call it a fear. I just think it's. Uh, the, the miss input. And usually you would go for air dodge to avoid something or to probably tech the stage just because of where you are. A lot of players go for directional air dodge feeling out that they might be sent to a tech situation the way the directional air dodges work in this game that allow you to instantly tech if you get them right. In Zenyu's case, it just looked like it was a very, very strong miss input. And you know what? Adam miss just pretty much ran all the way to the bank, cashed it out, and he's sitting pretty much on set point. And Zenyu... Definitely taking some time to think about this one. Does he go back to Cloud? Does he really trust his Mario? What's the stage choice? You know, you might want to change the layout here. Yeah, some things to work with. I don't know. It, I can't really say because it really just seems like he's just getting outplayed. Uh, it doesn't really have much to do with the stage or anything. And he's not playing like losing matchup, so... He just needs to play better. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see, man. This is Zenyu's last attempt here on the winner's side of life. I'm assuming... Oh, okay, okay, town. Okay, I expected either Battlefield or town. Yeah, I, yeah, I, really... I expected a stage change for sure. Yeah, this is a really good pick. If he can get, you know, combo starters. He's been playing pretty passively, honestly. More than I would expect for Mario in this matchup. Nice catch. Big catch. Yeah, that could have been really, really good for him if he was able to continue that combo on that platform. Possibly can kill DD, even DD, uh, that close to the uh, vertical blast zone. Okay, back at the ledge here again. Yeah, he's got to watch his, his way back on stage here. You can tell Adamus is already looking to stop it with back air. Nice on Zenyu. He's using these fireballs to not only send back Gordo, but get cross ups as well. Yep. Man, Adam is very good at just sneaking in these grabs when you suspect it. Oh, caught the jump. Not dead, dude. He's at a pretty rough spot. Nice. Using the upbeat to get past that potential edge guard. Oh, so scary. Oh, and he caught the, the babe. That was so good. Babe's in you to run in on that forward smash attempt and immediately catch him. Yeah, down throw. Goes for the immediate back air. Stage positioning all in Zinyu's hands. Goes for a flood to buy himself a little bit more time. Double jump, no aerial. Very strong empty hop here. Village again. Ooh, sneaking in the up air. Doing a lot of percent and gains a lot of the stage back too. Yeah, and he misses the back air. That was big for Zinyu, but nonetheless, he will get the landing and the out of shield option. Yep, yeah, big cross up within there. Yeah, I think that's where Zinyu's slowly, slowly starting to find his comfort here is on these cross-ups on Adamus to open up his shield. Oh, such a good it's... forward air. Mm. Wow, and then the Gordo too? Yeah, he has to use the air dodge here just to land yep. on the stage. Good call from Zenyu, oh. but the up tilt. Nice catch, man. Adamus just waiting for that jump. He jumped into it at 39%. <laughs> oh no, this is not good at all. Zenyu's like, He's just going to give up, yeah. He's going to give up there. Yeah, he calls it a day, man. He's not feeling this one. Rough, rough yeah, stuff. Yeah, rough stuff, dude. Adam Miss will take that 3-0 over Zenyu. Rough stuff indeed, man. Zenyu, yeah, he just gave up. He said, you know what? I'm going to save my mental stamina and just, just call it a day. Yeah. I mean, what else can you say, dude? Adam Miss just played so well. He, he knew everything. That was uh, coming for him in that matchup. He Both the, matchups, really. Yeah, he read the Zenyu textbook before Zenyu can even write it. Nice, nice. So that means Adamisk is in winner's finals? Wow. Yeah. And if you voted Adamisk like 84% of the chat did it, you were not wrong here.
Great stuff, great stuff to him. Man, Atmos has his work cut out for him though. He has to play either 8-bit man or a really good Ness. Both of those matchups sound horrible for a DDD. I mean, so did, so did Mario, but look at how he handled Zenyu. Yeah, that's true. 